Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's tutorial, we're looking at the Essential Tools, otherwise in Luminar Neo known as Essentials, and more specifically at the Denoise Tool. Now we've all been there, we all had the noisy photos before, and this is usually caused by shooting photos with a high ISO setting, or it can also be caused by underexposure or long shutter speed. Now, luckily for us, Luminar Neo has a built-in function which helps us to easily reduce or remove the unwanted noise. So this is what we're going to be looking at today. First of all, we have this example right here where I want to show you what type of noise we have. Usually it's quite smart to zoom in at least 100% and also look into the areas where there are maybe some darker parts like here or on the blue sky. Those are the two locations where you can usually see the noise first. So there are two types of noise on the images. It's a grayscale noise, which looks a little bit like a grain. You can see it right here. And then you can get color noise, which you can see on these areas right here. Now, when it comes to noise, you need to remember that every camera has its own threshold. For example, on my Sony a7R Mark IV, I can go as far as 2000, 2500 or my ISO, and I can still fix the photo in a post-processing. However, on my previous camera, I had a Nikon. I knew I could only go as far as six or 800 or maybe 900 or my ISO. And after that, I couldn't really fix the result. So you really need to know your camera to see how far you can go in a real-time shooting to know how much you can then fix in post-processing. So that's the important part of this message. Because even though this tool is quite powerful, image like this would be very difficult to fix and it's pretty much lost. Sometimes you just have to go back and reshoot it. So that's about this. This is the example. Now we know what type of noise we have. Now we know where to look for it. And now we're going to look at the actual tool. In order to do that, we're going to go back to the catalog and we will use this image right here. So let's go into the edit module. And this is where we are. Once again, we are in the edit module. We are looking at the essential tools and more closely at the denoise tool right here. So first we're looking at the luminosity slider. Now the luminosity slider removes the grail scale noise from an image. That's the most typical noise you see all the time. And you can see it at the back right here. Once again, it looks a little bit like a grain. The next slider is called color noise. And you guessed it already, that slider removes the color noise. And finally, there is a third slider in the advanced setting. If we open that, if you don't see it, you can just click on this little arrow here. And that slider is called boost. And this slider increase the aggressiveness of the denoise tool. Now, as you can see right now is grayed out. And the reason for it is that we have zero on each of the slider. If I push the luminosity, I can now boost the result. So if the sliders are on zero, we have nothing to boost. So the boost slider is grayed out. So that's the sliders. We know what they do now. So let's try to use them. So once again, we are on this image right here. As you can see, the noise isn't too bad here. It was shot somewhere between four, five, six hundred ISO, and it should be easily manageable inside of the application here. First of all, we're going to use the luminosity because we don't see any color noise here. And let's push it all the way to 100. Now, what it does when you push it really hard, it also starts to remove the sharpness from the other parts of the image. And you can really see it on the face, how it's almost starting to look like it was painted with the watercolors. And you don't want that result. So really the idea of removing the noise is to find a balance between keeping the details on your image and removing the unwanted noise. So you really need to see what works the best for you. For us, we need to bring the slider back. Let's say around 20 
and that brings the details back in a phase and it removes some of the noise in the background. Let me show you before and after. It does a decent job, but I think we can go a little bit further. Let's go to something like 40. And I think that's about as far as I would go. We still keep decent amount of sharpness in a face and we have removed as much noise as possible. So let me show you again. Before, lots of noise there. After, without the noise. Let's zoom out. And as you can see, when I'm zoom in, you can see some of the details starting to go. However, when you zoom out, I think it still look very decent. So that's the luminosity slider. Once again, you can go as far as you want. However, you need to keep an eye on the balance between losing the details and removing the noise. So this was an example of a picture with a little bit of noise. And now we're going to go into the catalog and this image right here. And as you will see, there is so much more noise on this one. So we're going to zoom in to 100% and we're going to move to the area, which is a little bit more darker. So darker area right here. And you can see there is lots of lots of noise on this image. There is so much noise that at some point, specifically in this area right here, we actually starting to lose in details and we starting to lose some of the elements. So what can we do? We can go into our denoise tool and we can really push the luminosity to something like 70. So let's see how much that helps. It helps a little bit, but um, it doesn't really fix it altogether. So we can try to use the boost tool and maybe boost it to something like 60. And that's probably about as much as you can do. It does a little bit of job, but not crazily. Sometimes you just have to zoom out and see if it's worth to continue working on it. I think it's worth it, although at this point, sometimes you have to implement another tools in Luminar. And for example, for us, the next tool I would be using would be the details where we can use the sliders to recover some of the details we lose during the denoising process. Uh, if you haven't used details tools before, we're going to be making tutorial for this tool pretty soon. And when it's ready, it's going to be in the corner of your screen and you will be able to check it out. So I think that's about it. This is how you use the denoise tool. It's really handy. Once again, you can't fix every single image. It really depends on your camera, on the situation. However, it's always worth to try and see if the denoise tool can come back and fix your image. So you stayed until the end. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar gift and get it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.